how are you doing? Oh lordy, it's been a quite a long day. How's everybody been doing? I'm still supporting or supporting or sporting or shit, I don't know. I love this bag. I've never had a bag that I've enjoyed so much. Uh, lately. I can't say that. Shh. Uh, she didn't hear that. The Hermes did not hear that. Uh, speaking of which, we had somebody that is looking or wants to see this beautiful Hermes. Uh, this is going to be, a, oh, hello. Uh, this one is going to be uh, fresh from the bag spa. Um, she is gorgeous if you're interested. She does come with her uh, certificate of authenticity uh, if you have any interest in this particular one. And she's gorgeous. Now, this is one of my favorite colors. So if you have any interest in this one, this color is like actually in this shirt and so is the Burdo. So both of these go really good with this particular outfit. Uh, yes, yes, they do. Uh, oh. Okay, so I've moved this all around in here. Okay, so let me just kind of move you delicately. Now, all of this is recorded. So it's on about a 30 second delay. And so if you keep that in mind, I do have music going, but it's very, 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 very light. Uh, I can hear it if I really listen, but you probably can't hear it. Now, if you're not watching in app, this is your opportunity to go download the app, either in the Google Play or the Android uh, or the Apple uh, store. It's free to download. It's free to watch. You'll get notifications when I'm going to go live. Now, if you already downloaded it, then you probably got a notification that said, hey, look, I'm, I'm going to be live in like 15 minutes. Psst. Uh, and if you can join when I go live throughout the day or when I do go live, then you'll be able to join and then participate live because I can see your chat over here. And when you aren't able to see... If you're watching on Instagram right now, I will delete this. So you won't be able to watch my shows on Instagram. You will have to go and watch and have to watch a replay on my app. So if you want to go download it now for the best experience, it's going to be at Luxury Live. It's pretty easy to find. Uh, if you go to the Apple Store and or the, um, the Android Store, uh, if you go in, if you're watching on Instagram, let me show you really quickly. If you're watching on the Instagrams, uh, how to find it here. I don't know if I have Instagram on this one, but if you go uh, to my link at my very top, there'll be a list of like all of my links and it will show you where to find it. And there's like a list. You can find my Patreon. You can find my Facebook. You can find my Instagram, you can find my TikTok. You can find all of them, all the list of the, all the links that you would ever need uh, at this time. And I will add things. There's also like a couple of bags that are for sale because there's a shop slide feature on the link on the bio of my Instagram page. It's also on my Facebook. It's also on all the Instagrams that I'm affiliated with. So anyhow, just throwing that out there. It's pretty easy to find. If you haven't been able to shop lately with me, and then you might not know those things because those things have been updated since I've been live last. If I continue pulling you over here, uh, you're going to see that I finally pulled the Gucci table onto the Gucci floor. Uh, hello. Yes, I got my strap. Yes, I got my strap on. Yes, exactly. Uh, this one here is going to be a table full of brown Gucci. This is a Diana bag. This is a Diana bag as well. Um, I am uh, negotiable on the price, obviously, uh, if you're interested. Uh, any bags over $1,000 will include free expedited shipping. Yes, you heard me right. Free expedited shipping, uh, which I know that that's something that you're probably not used to. Uh, but as long as you're there to sign for it, if you were to purchase something with me today and or later on, if you're watching this later, because you don't have to buy now, think about it. Go back and watch it. If I show something that you think that you like, there's a lot to see. I'm not going to be able to show you everything today. But if you see something while you're watching that you like, you can send me a message on my website. If you go to my website, there's a chat feature down to the left part of the screen. You can send me a message there. I will put it something in the uh, the, the listing for you if you like. Like it's maybe something you find in here is not listed. If that's the case, then just let me know what you want, and then I'll list it for you. And then once I've got it listed, I'll send you a link, and then you can buy it. Uh, you can make an offer on something that's already listed. Perhaps maybe this. Maybe you want to buy this. Okay. If you want to buy this, you can make me an offer on my website, which is elliotsluxury.com, and that's with two L's and two T's. 
if you want to do that, then if you make an offer, hello, what I will do is I will get back with you via email. And when I get back with you at email, uh, then what I will do is, hold on. Uh, what I'll do is I'll set up the listing for you and send you a link and then you can get paid. Uh, and when it, when you actually do pay via the website, it will give you email notifications for tracking and all that stuff. So FYI, uh, it's a pretty professional experience. And if you buy something this evening, then I will wrap it in the morning and you'll get to see it wrapped in the morning live right here on Luxury Live uh, and or Elliot's uh, Luxury if you're watching uh, in the Instagram right now. Anyhow, so this being said, these are all beautiful. These are marked $12.95 each. Again, negotiable, uh, somewhere around 1000 Okay, I'll give you $300 off each one if you'd like. Somewhere around $1,000 these are going to have to be sold for. So if you get less, you ain't been getting no free shipping uh, with expedited. Uh, you'll be getting um, a priority shipped, okay? Uh, you'll still have to sign for anything and everything that you buy. So anyhow, that being said, if you see anything on this particular table that you have been lusting after, uh, this particular bag here, uh, this one, I can do as low on this one right now. I would say probably about 1100 on this particular one. This one's got a leather interior. And I had this one priced at $14.95. So if you're interested in that one, the bamboo is gorgeous. It is a, a like a pressure, um, like a pull out little nozzle in order to open it. And then once it's closed, it's closed. This one reminds me of an extra large coin purse from the old days. Like what my grandma would be carrying in her old, in her purse. Like my grandma loved coin purses. She had a collection of, oh, Whiting Davis ones. We'll have a show soon that is actually going to show y'all these Whiting Davis purses again. There's been something that's been highly requested. So if you have added a, uh, added, or if you started a collection and or you're willing to add more to your collection, uh, then we'll have a show. I'm not sure when it is, but I'll let y'all know. There'll be a little bit more uh, production about it. So if you're a Whiting Davis girl and you like those old, old, old 30 to 50 to 100 year old purses, I have a collection of those and I shared them a long while ago. Uh, with the community of Poshmark, and y'all seem to have a lot of fun with them. I really enjoy them because there's a lot of history with purses there. So anyway, just FYI. Uh, let me pull these out of your way. So if you see anything back here that immediately catches your eye, let me know. Uh, obviously, I did move some items onto the floor that were not on the floor previously because we and I have no longer uh, the room over here sat up. So this room is not sat up anymore to have shows. And so the jewelry is actually in the other room over here and it's another camera. So I can actually switch the camera to in there without actually moving you from the cart over here. So as long as it works correctly, then it makes for a really smooth experience for us to uh, have the show. Because as I said, this is recorded. So if for whatever reason you did get distracted from the show, ideally this will go on the app where you'll be able to research and watch this and see this stuff in really good quality and at your leisure. So you can like pause and stop and all that. It seems to, y'all seem to love it. So uh, I'm glad that you're loving it. Uh, but do you love my Dior though? Like, like, oh, okay. Uh, Cause it is just, okay, let me take her out. Let me take her out, it's distracting. It's distracting. If it's distracting me, I know it's probably distracting you too, so. Um, all right, so if we're going to look at some of the Gucci over here, I'm sure that a lot of you have seen my Gucci collection at one, one, one time or another. Let me show you my, my Gucci. And no, I didn't say Gucci, uh, for those that might have thought that. I said uh, <coughs> Gucci. Uh, Gucci uh, is what I like to call it, uh, is gooey cheese, uh, like a, you know, a grilled cheese. No, I mean, obviously, right? So this particular one is one of my favorites right now. I did have another a model just like this, but it was a newer model of this particular one. It sold. Sorry. It did. It sold. It sold literally last for our show. Uh, the last show that we had. So there are other shows that you can go back and watch the replay of. So if you're into watching these shows and you like to see, you know, my collection and, you know, just the whole vibe of it all then there are replays already available on Luxury Live. The very first one was when we started to do lives on this particular platform. And so it's a not as smooth of a process, 
but it you kind of get the idea and the function of the features and, and all that. So anyhow, that being said, I'll step out of your way so you can take a look at some of the beautiful items back here. Uh, this one is a little hiding out over here. This little marmot. Ooh. One of my Gucci straps just jumped right off of the, uh, the, uh, whoops. Okay. Okay, so my, uh, Gucci strap just you know, flew off of the strap. Uh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me put her up. Okay, so Marmot. This one is a Marmot. Uh, a little mini backpack. You can definitely wear her as a backpack if you want to. Uh, but lots of people are just carrying these as purses. Like, you just carry it as a top handle bag. And you kind of carry it like this. I mean, there's plenty of people that are carrying it like that. Uh, I've already forgotten that I've got this one on. Sorry. She's beautiful. If you're interested in this one, it has a purple suede interior. Uh, let me show you the up close so you can really get a good idea about the texture. Now, this one, I think, is listed. I think. Uh, just search in my Gucci collection on the website. There's a lot of Gucci behind me. Uh, Gucci is one of my favorite brands. Uh, one, one of my favorite brands, but you can't tell me that that does not look good. It is such a cute bag. You can also wear this in as a crossbody. Uh, let me show you this really quickly. Whoops. Oh, my on the floor. Oops. This one. This one. Uh, this one is very easy to carry. I have not moved into this just yet. I have not tried to move in yet, but don't tempt me. Uh, this one has very nice tassels. As you can see, the textures are there. She also has studs all the way around the gold hardware. The bamboo is very nice. Uh, her anchors are also in really great shape. A lot of times the anchors on these will stretch because the bamboo, uh, you know, bamboo doesn't grow like this. So, uh, this is a good opportunity for you to buy this bag. If you're interested, no pressure. It is a 1947 turn lock style and it's a modern version one. Uh, this is like early two thousands. And again, it is a purple interior. It's a purple suede with no, no stains or anything. So if you are interested in this particular one, uh, she's very nice. Uh, she's pretty expensive. If I can remember correctly. Hold on. This one is $2,995. If you are interested in this particular one, uh, you can make me an offer. Uh, this particular one, um, I mean, I'm flexible. Let, let me know what you think this is worth to you. Uh, I'd be happy to hear your offers. How do you make an offer? Well, let me show you how to make an offer. Hold on a moment. So if you go to my website, okay? So if you're watching this later, and wh or whether or not you're watching this now, if you go to my website, Okay, you are hypothetically here, right? Okay, so what you're going to do is you don't even have to leave my app. It's just that simple. So if you go over here, you're going to go to your account. So on the bottom of your screen down there, if you're watching and you enter the app right here, okay, and then you're going to see a red bar when you enter the app, and then you can enter the show. So this is where we are hypothetically right here. And if we're here, then what you're going to do uh, is go from us watching ourselves right here to us going to the account. It's on the right hand of your screen. If you go there, you can say shop website. And then and there, it will pull up your website, which is mine, my website. Okay. And once you're there, you'll start to see that this has been updated. This whole front section has been updated. Up at the top, it says download the app. And then there's an opportunity for you to download the app, an opportunity for you to shop the site. Uh, there's also an opportunity for you to watch on YouTube, maybe on your TV, your Apple TV, maybe an iPad, etc. on a later date, uh, a tour through my studio. If you want to go and watch that, it's free, obviously, if you want to go and tour the store. But it's edited and it's in pretty good quality, if I remember correctly. I want to say it was probably about three or four months ago. And it's, I've got several videos on my YouTube about my collection, my Dior collection, uh, and just the collection. So anyway, that's there. And then there's also my social media uh, links over here, which are going to be Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and TikTok. It also talks about how, what we accept as far as payment goes. There is an opportunity for you to make payments on these items as well. So if you get something in here and you're just, you got to have it, but you're in between pay uh, dates or what have you. You can finance these items. How do you finance these items? Well, you split them up, okay? The payments. You can split the payments up. And if you split the payments up, 
you can make payments on them with shop app. Now, if you wanted high quality photos, as you can see, you can actually zoom with these high quality photos. There's lots and lots and lots of things that you can do on my particular website and on my app that you couldn't do on many other places. Now, say you want to make an offer on it. Well, you just click make an offer. And then you can plug in your offer right there. Then it will email me. I will get a notification that you've made an offer on anything that you may see today. And then once that happens, I can counter and it will email you and say, hey, look, uh, yes, we can accept that or no, we can't accept that and then go pay. It could go to your junk folder. So make sure that you pay attention as to where it might be going. Now, I have been messaging people and making sure that you know that I did or didn't or, or if you're still interested in the bag so that we can confirm whether you're interested. So if you make an offer and you don't hear back from me, uh, you can message me back if you want or you can reach out to me on Instagram or you can message me on the, on the actual website. Like, let me show you here. So if you're on the website... There's an opportunity for you to chat right here. So all you have to do is just type what you need, what you're looking for. If you want to set up a private appointment, we had a private appointment yesterday. They bought a quite a bit of stuff. So uh, thank you for your uh, business. And if you want a private appointment, you want to do it live. Or if you'd like to actually schedule a time to come into the studio, you could do that too. Uh, my phone number and my details are available uh, on my website. So if you're interested, Come make an appointment and let's do some shopping. Okay, so this particular bag, uh, even though it fell on the floor, it is gorgeous. I believe this is listed on my website. It might not be listed on my website. I think I accidentally may have deleted it. Whoopsie. Uh, so just FYI, I really think it was an accident. Uh, so Now this one, as I said, you can make me an offer. This is gorgeous. This is purple. So you got to be a purple person. And it is suede on the expandable portions and the interior, which is gorgeous. If you see anything back here and it looks interesting to you, all you got to do is screenshot and then you can send me photos on my app. Uh, no, my app, my website, I'm sorry, which is elliotsluxury.com. Now you're watching me, if you're watching me on Luxury Live app, if you're not watching me on Luxury Live app, you might be watching me on Instagram. So if you are watching me on Instagram for the best experience, you would want to come. You would want to come onto the app so that you can watch it uh, in better quality. Because in my mind, it's not as good quality uh, if you're not on the app. Now this one, I believe, has been listed. This is one that's very, very pretty. Uh, and you know, just if you could imagine, um, this is a purple and it is like an amethyst purple. It does have a little bit of fading on the interior parts where the leather uh, like covers like right like underneath here. Like if you open the flap, it's a little bit darker purple than the rest of the bag. But I'm pretty sure that this one is already listed at LuxuryLive.com uh, and Elliot's uh, Luxury.com because LuxuryLive.com actually goes to my website at this time. So if you get yourself interested or if you get uh, turned uh, 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 turned around on the on the web, then you can type uh, luxurylive.com and it'll lead you uh, straight to the website, which is elliotsluxury.com. This one is not listed either. And I kind of show this all the time, or at least I used to. This particular one is gorgeous. It's a suede. And so it's going to hit the light a little different. And some people just don't like that because they think that it looks, you know, um, different in the light. I don't know. Some people are terrified of suede. It did rain today out of nowhere in the great state of Oklahoma. And I'm glad I wasn't carrying a bag that was suede. So if you were carrying a bag that is suede today and you got it ruined, then I'm so sorry. Uh, but we didn't really have much of any warning and it just kind of came out of nowhere like it do. Uh, so unfortunately, that is the way it works in the great state of Oklahoma. Oh, I have this too. This would look really good with my, my outfits right now. Now this shirt has a little bit of a Bordeaux in it with the blue. And this is a longer drop. So if you're a plus size gal or a busty gal, uh, this would be a really good bag for you. This one uh, hangs, up, hangs a, little, a little bit lower than what I like. I like uh, my bags to basically sit right at my belt buckle. This one's drop here. Let me show you the drop on this one. I'll show you the, I will show you. Hold on. This one's 24 inches. 
24 inches uh, of drop on her. Here's the chain if you want to see. There's not hardly any wear or anything. Uh, no fading or anything. It'll be fun to see what this looks like on the camera afterwards. Now, I do go back and watch these uh, so that I can figure out how I can make it better the next time. And that's what I love about the recordings is because, for one, you get to watch these at your leisure. And I get to go back and see what I could have done better, what maybe the lighting could have been better, uh, something like that. So it just makes it better for both of us uh, each time. Now, this one, is, again, it's really cute. The dimensions on this is a five by six and a half uh, by two. A five by six and a half by two is a pebbled leather, uh, and it's that blondy Gooey Chills logo. And both of these are from that same logo, the Blondie. And right now, this is what they're selling at the Gucci store. Now, these are uh, early 2000s. All of these. Every single one of these are early 2000s, 2010-ish. If you're interested, uh, that this bag at Gucci right now probably be like $4,500. Uh, the prices at Gucci.com uh, are insane. But I think you might need this one, though. Like, you just kind of wear it like this, like poke the butt out, you know, like... Like, look at my good chills. Uh, but she's gorgeous. So let me show you the, the logo up front so you can see that. We want to see all the details. And there's her logo. And her corners are beautiful. Obviously, this one is gorgeous. Uh, this one is expensive, too, if I remember correctly. This one is $13.50. I know. So I mean, oh, my God. That's too much. It's really not that bad. Look at her. Tell me that's not worth $13.50. Come on, thirteen fifty. It's worth thirteen fifty. I think it's worth thirteen fifty. You can make an offer, but don't be getting crazy. Don't be getting crazy with your offers, okay? Because she's cute, and I really don't want to get rid of her that much. So, trying to take all my pretty, my pretties around here. No, and don't forget about this one. This one is gorgeous too. She kind of grows on you. Okay, now she has a longer drop too. So don't don't be don't be getting twisted. She does have options. She has lots and lots of options. Uh, it's a turn lock. Or not a turn lock. It's like a, oh, 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 wait a minute. She just revealed. That was very revealing. Okay. All right. Hold on. Wait a minute. Snap. Okay, so here's the sides. And this one has a lot of structure. Here's the bottom. It does have a little bit of feet, but she kind of... She's kind of top heavy, heavy like Wendy Williams, uh, top heavy. Uh, she don't really like to sit on her butt. She will go, bloop, literally like just fall right off the shelf. So do be prepared for her to fall off the shelf because she is a little top heavy. Uh, she will literally fall fa fa uh, bloop, like that. I know from experience. So I kind of have to prop her up and just kind of talk to her so she don't fall. At some point, we'll probably do like some small leather goods. If you see anything up here from top to bottom, then let me know uh, by messaging me at elliotsluxury.com. So if I move you over just a tiny bit, this one, uh, there's just a little bit more of Gucci if you're interested. At some point, we'll have to go over the Chanel, but who has time? Who has the time to go through all the... Ooh, I forgot I could be wearing this one right now. This one, this one right now, this one, ooh, Th this one, yes, this one goes with my shirt. This is a little birdo, a birdo. Uh, she's gorgeous. This is a lamb skinny if you're interested. Uh, again, you got to do that tilt. We want the corner to be like looking at other people because we're trying to take away from the sight of the booty. You know, everybody be trying to look at the booty. We don't want that. And then we put it in the front like this. You know, get that cute picture. Oh, ooh, ah. And then you got to get that back. You know, the, always that creeper be looking at you in the, in the you know, like in the line. And stuff. He was trying to check out, like, innocent, like at Walgreens and stuff. And like, you know, like a creeper trying to look at your booty. So you just, you know, like, it's perfect for that. Uh, this one is perfect for me. I love that. See, it sit sits right at the, sh see? See how it sits right here. That's what we want. I'm five foot seven. So if you're about my size and about my height, some of you are, but some of you have said you're about my height, but with but with watermelons on the front of your chest. If I if I quote it correctly, 
then this one uh, would be what I call a titty splitter. Because uh, it's just going to split them watermelons just right down the side. So it's going to be watermelons here. Uh, so if you like the titty splitters, uh, and if you do have, if you are a busty gal with watermelons on the front of your chest, then, uh, then we hear you and we see you, uh, and you might need a little bit longer drop, or you just need to carry this one like this. Okay. Uh, she said, girl, I had to stop myself a broke hoe over here. She's good. Seven months of getting into everything. Oh Lord. Not a child. Oh Lord. Seven months. Oh God. That's a very trying time, honey. Seven months. Look, I'm like, how do you know? I'm like, I had a very young brother, okay? And I remember what it was like to have a child at a very young age. And it was like, oh, this is not something I think I really want to sign up for, uh, especially until I get old enough. I'm not old enough to have children. That's what I like to tell people. Oh, I'm not old enough for that. I don't know. I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience or or the or a uterus. So it's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, me and my husband have been trying for years and it just, it don't take. Sorry. Uh, this one is very nice. This is a gold, a gold cha-cha, uh, if you're interested. It is very nice. It's small. It's a camera bag. This one is more of the high-end ones. I did elect to get a, rid of a few of my camera bags. And it's because, you know, I, I only need so many camera bags. And the other ones just weren't quite as special to me. This one is more special. And, you know, she's cute. She's gold. It's like a golden goose. Uh, she lays a golden goose egg, and so we're going to keep her. If you're interested in this bag, uh, my my price uh, is probably negotiable. Uh, if you're interested, I think I have like $4,900 on this one. Uh, you could always make an offer. Make an offer. Surprise me. Razzle dazzle me with an offer. Uh, but don't offend me. Don't, don't be offending me. I will block your IP. Don't, don't be getting crazy. Don't be getting crazy with them offers. Uh, but I will take an offer, and that one is listed at elliotsluxury.com. Elliotsluxury.com, where you'll find authentic luxury goods. Uh, uh, so this one also is available. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh, this one is beautiful. Look at the silver hardwares. Look at the silver hardwares. Now it's plated, so don't be getting crazy. If you want real sterling silver hardwares, you're going to have to go to the, the Fendi Indies. The Fendi Indies are over there in that corner, but we don't have time to talk about the Fendi Indies today. I did talk about the Fendi Indies in the show. That's already on my app, though. Let me show you. One moment. If we refer to the Luxury Live app, seen here. You are here. Mm -hmm. And then if you just move over a little bit, you will see other shows. It's amazing. Ooh, ah, oh. ooh, ah. Oh. And then if you get out of there, you can see another show. Ooh, ah, oh. ooh, ooh, ah, oh. ooh, ooh, ah. Oh. That's Take Top, Justin. Ooh, ah. Oh. So if you didn't get to see something that you wanted to see, it's a good chance that I've already shown it. Uh, so FYI, but specifically, if you have anything or you need anything, what do you do? Just go to elliotsluxury.com and you can send me a message via chat, okay? Uh, do, uh, just don't make it inappropriate because I might, I might, I might, well, just don't make it appropriate, okay? Don't make it inappropriate. Uh, but... I don't know who this person is showing these bags, but he looks like he was showing bags, okay? So if you're interested, that looks like there's a good preview of other items in my studio. And I love this because if somebody is invested enough to buy something and be a customer of mine, then that means that you're going to take the very short effort it takes to watch all the hard work and the passion that goes into these bags and getting them to you uh, immediately, immediately. Uh, so if you like any of these items, if you uh, have any questions while you're watching uh, live now, live or later at another time, then all you got to do is just send me a message at elliotsluxury.com. Okay. This one is pretty. She also cinches at the top. See, it kind of gives it this, uh, this 
like trapezoid look. Like she almost is like trying to compete. She's trying to compete with Bergen. Trying to compete. Not her trying to compete with the all and powerful prestigious Birkin. No, how dare you not try to compete with the Birkin. She tried to be a Birkin. She wants to be a Birkin. Now that I'm looking at this, I kind of like this bag more. <laughs> well, she's not for sale now, so bye-bye. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, you could, you can buy her if you really want, but I like this. Is this not adorable? Okay, now I like it better. Now that I'm holding it with my bit, my Birkin, my Birkin. Ooh, what does she look like with a Kelly? Here, hold, hold, hold my Birkin. Just hold, hold my, hold my, hold my Birkin. Hold my Birkin. What do you look like next to a, look next, like next to a, uh, a, 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 well, maybe this size. Ooh, yes. How about this one? How about, how about this one? Okay, so she's tr she's about the size of a 40. Okay, well, now I like her even better. You can't tell me that you don't like her. This is also a make offer if you're interested, if you think that you would use her. And if you wouldn't use her, then don't buy. Don't even ask. Rude. Rude. I say uh, good morning to her every day. This is a... Hermes, Serie, no, Ritorne, sorry, Ritorne. I was like, wait a minute, this ain't no Serie, look at them piping. Uh, it has, it's flipped inside out. The second de Peche. Uh, this is a 1990, a 1990 with a back pocket. A 1990 with a back pocket. It's gorgeous. If you're interested, she's ready to go home. This one has an exotic crocodile strap. An exotic crocodile strap. It is beautiful. If you are interested. I also have a wallet that matches. This would be perfect for a businessman. And are a business lady. A businesswoman. Career girl. You could have a career girl special with this bag right here. Are you a Romeo or Juliet? But Romeo and who? Right now, Juliet. Romeo and Michelle? Mermeo and Michelle, not Juliet. Isn't that right? I think it was Romeo and Michelle. R right? Am I, am I having a brain fart? R wasn't it? I don't remember. Anyway, we can still have Creole Girl specials at the diner. We'll have the burger special because we're career girls with our Kelly bags <laughs> at some truck stop, no doubt. We better not. What, but the answer will be no. Testing. Teasing. All the time. Yes, we're always teasing. This one is beautiful. I love this. Uh, I haven't even had time to fawn over this cha-cha yet. So you better scoop it up now before I change my mind. Um, I'm going, to, I'm going to change my, change my mind. Okay, um, uh, this, okay, is available as well. But this needs to be sold with that Hermes. The Hermes book. It's just, it's just my opinion. Uh, not that it matters much. But if you think that you could give one of my beautiful girls a home, uh, please let us know. We are a, a rehoming foundation, uh, for profit. Uh, 100% profit, uh, just FYI. I don't want to get anybody confused. Now, this one is new to the Collectionas as well. Uh, you just kind of throw her up there. Now, this would have been perfect for the rain today. If I had known that it was going to rain, uh, at raining men, um, then I would have worn this one. I didn't see any men I would want to claim while there was raining men. Uh, but I did see, um, unfortunately... Uh, some people that were having to run out of the rain. It was terrible. Uh, they told us here in Tulsa that it was only going to drizzle and it came a, a monsoon and it tried to ruin my suede shoes and well, that did not happen. I would not allow it. 
so I took my shoes off and stuck them in my bag and walked barefoot to my car. Yes, I did. Uh, call me trash if you want, but I'm not running my shoes. I'm not running my suede shoes. This is what we do for luxury. We will live. We will live. We will live. We will take care of our luxuries. Uh, look, the luxuries was good. Okay, I just got them, and I'm not having rain ruin my shoes. I took it personal. So this time I wore some synthetic ones uh, <clears throat> that I didn't have to worry about the rain. Mother Nature was trying to F around and find out. This one is gorgeous as well. I said I wasn't going to show you any of my Chanel, but here we are showing Chanel. Uh, this one I've worn a couple times. Uh, Y'all have fancied it. Y'all have oozed and oozed and oozed and oozed over it. It's gorgeous if you're interested. It's a purple. It's like a, a gray amethyst, actually. She's one of cotton candy color. A cotton candy. That's what I should call her. Cotton candy pink. She's a dusty rose, if you will, with a purple lilac interior. It's lambskin, uh, if you're interested. She's fine. Fine. Oh, so fine. Look at the corners. Look, look. Take it in. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. It's gorgeous. I love this bag. I could take her to the grave with me. Or you could buy her, whichever you like. Uh, the price uh, is expensive. Uh, you can make an offer. Uh, she is $4,995. Or best offer. Don't be afraid to make an offer. Don't let money stand in the way of your happiness. We would never do that. Uh, ooh, this one is a little mini. A flappy bag. A little mini one. It's gorgeous. This is a really pretty beige. Oh, you like beige? Oh, you do? Oh, well, don't fret. I have another. This one is a Chanel of another mother. This particular one is a Paris anniversary model. That means it's two-toned. Uh, not two-faced. Uh, two-toned. Uh, just like my belt buckle. It has a little bit of uh, gold and a little bit of silver mixed together. This one is gorgeous. If you're interested, it, it's like a Bordeaux interior. I'm pretty sure it's Bordeaux. Let's take a peek. I haven't looked at her insides in a while. Like, maybe a week. No, it's not a Bordeaux interior. It's a cream interior. It's like a cream interior. This one is gorgeous. If you like a beige Chanel, I would not tell you to use this, to buy one of these, like this color, as your first. Okay? I'm just going to be honest with you. I, like I would be anything else. I would tell you, don't buy this color for your first Chanel. This is not a first Chanel color. This is just like a suit. As your first suit, you need certain colors that are basics, and then you can move out from there as the tree grows. Okay? we got to plant the roots first, which is going to be a gray and a black and then a red. And then we can start stepping out from there. If you don't like red, uh, we could do blue. Blue. Navy blue is a good start. Uh, navy blue. You got your uh, black, uh, a gray maybe, a white if you're not afraid. Maybe a yellow if you're not afraid. If you're not afraid of a yellow, then you're going to like a lot of my bags because I love a yellow. Um, and let me show you this yellow bag and then I'll tell you why I'm going to show it to you really quickly. So I have moved a lot of my Dior altogether. And I know that I had a lot of Dior before. And I know it's overwhelming. My collection is overwhelming. I know. I'm sorry. Um, but this one is the, a, one of the Chick-fil-A sauce color. Uh, and so if you are, and if you like a Chick-fil-A sauce, uh, this is your bag right here. Uh, I call her a little bit of arm candy. It's sunshine for your arm. It is. It's gorgeous. This is a gold hardware. A gold hardware. I have this in black right now in my studio and she needs to be cleaned. That's it. If you like this bag and this silhouette, I've sold it in red to one of my girls. If you like this bag and you would wear this in black, let me know in a message. It's silver hardware. It's gorgeous. These are very pretty bags. Like it's the East and West. It's easy to throw over the shoulder. The drop is decent. And this is a little bit thicker width of a strap so it doesn't dig into your arm. Now, I'm hoping that you're not going to put, you know, like a, a white in this or, you know, you're not going to put, you know, like concrete in it because you'd ruin the bag. And obviously, if it's hurting your shoulder, you probably carry too much stuff. Okay? So, uh, think about smaller stuff. A lot of people will be like, I could never carry that bag. And you would be surprised the size of bag you can carry. If you're willing, if you're willing to downsize your stuff, and I'm not talking about cutting the stuff out in your purse. 
I'm talking about thinking smaller in the stuff that you carry. You can carry the same amount of stuff in your bag if you start ordering many lipsticks, many this, many that. And if you kind of like that kind of stuff, you might get obsessed because you might be able to go from something like this that's half this size. And then all of a sudden, you put yourself in a situation where you're able to start carrying something that is the size of this. And you never thought you could even get into a bag that's this size. Look, I've learned that myself of what I can fit in what and why. Because there was a time that I moved in this and I started realizing what I really needed that day, which was my car keys and my little mini wallet and maybe a breath mat and a contraceptive maybe for the next day or the evening or what have you. Okay. That's it. That's all I really needed. So when you look at these really cute little pretty bags and you dream, because I know some of y'all will be like, I could never fit in that bag. Where there's a will, there's a way. Make it happen. Stop saying no and say yes to the bag. Say yes to the bag. And say yes to minis, mini lipsticks, mini everything. They make mini everything for a purse because they know that girls carry mini bags. It's very, very popular. So if you're interested, think outside of the box and you can make, you too can carry a baguette if that's what you want. Uh, because there are a lot of y'all messaging me be like, I, I really wish I could fit into that bag. It's so cute, but I just don't think I could do it. And it's like, okay, well, I know you can do it, honey. Let, here, let me show you what, let me see what's in your purse. Because if I went through your purse, it's like, well, honey, you don't need any of this shit in here at all. Why, why do you have the kitchen sink in here? Do they not have a sink at the work, at work where you're going? Uh, do they not have, uh, you know, ketchup, condiments, like the whole thing? They don't have that at the restaurant you was going to? They ain't got ketchup at the restaurant that you was going to? Look, I'm not sure I would trust myself going there then. What's their kitchen look like? Have you asked to see their kitchen? I mean, it's kind of creepo if they ain't got no ketchup in there. Hey, right. If you ain't got no ketchup, then you ain't got, I ain't eating there for damn sure. They're, I'm not eating there at all. If there's no ketchup. Sorry, that's, that's, that's just, that, that is not possible they ain't got ketchup. Uh, now this one is an, a, a, a doer of a different mojo. I don't have time to show you all my doers because I do have other things to do today. However, I would be happy to pack one of these up for you. Uh, but this is just a quick little evening show. Uh, and so this one is gorgeous. She's very pretty. Suede. And it's leather on the outside. Uh, it's very nice. This one has been cleaned and prepared by me and polished by me. And she does have those little Dior noise makers. So you're not going to be able to sneak up on people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All of them are like this. They all have a little bit of tingle tangle to let everybody know that you're oozy with cash. Uh, either either that or maybe you have loose keys in your in your pocket. <laughs> either way, uh, this one is gorgeous. Uh, I'm interested to see what the suede's going to look like on the camera. Now, it does not have any stains, okay? It's just the way the suede hits the camera. So just FYI, if this is a bag that you really love, this one is 11 by 9 by 3.5 with 11 inch drop. So again, the good, good drop. And I could see this on, you know, it's a really good silhouette for everyone, but I would say this would be a really good drop for anybody, like anybody. And it does have a lot of structure. This kind of reminds me of that Gucci bag, that equestrian Gucci bag that we sold. If you remember that was, it was over there in that corner for a long while that was brown. I don't know if you remember that one, but this one kind of gives me mojos of that bag. But did that one have a bamboo handle? I don't remember if that one had a bamboo handle. No, it didn't have the bamboo handle. That one, that was the one that had the double GGs. I remember now. Some of y'all might not know what I'm talking about. You're like, what are you talking about? So I have dreams of the bags that I have sold in the past. Okay. And I'm like, you know, I really should have kept that bag. And then I let that bag go. So I know that there's some of y'all that probably have buyer's remorse. I have seller's remorse uh, generally sometimes. Uh, on some of these bags. I, I, I really do. As I've looked back in the last couple of days at some of the beautiful bags that I've sold, I am reminded that, you know, I really didn't get to enjoy that bag as much as I really wanted it to. Uh, and this is just sitting here because I forgot about it. That's how convenient it is to wear. I'm about five foot seven. I wear an extra small tee 
And this fits me. This is fabulous on me. I love this particular size of bag and the drop. But again, I don't really have big chesticles, okay? So these are the things that you're going to have to take into consideration when you're watching me. Is your size in comparison to mine? I'm about five foot seven, and I wear a 36 short blazer, if that tells you anything. I know that some of y'all uh, might be a clothing reseller and or somebody that sells clothing is familiar with sizing. I wear an extra small top, and I wear a 28 waist short. These are five inch uh, inseam shorts. So this is kind of gives you an idea of the drop and the silhouette that it's being modeled on. Uh, and so I am pretty petite for a, a gentleman. Uh, and so I'm actually about the normal size of a, a, a guy in the 50s. Uh, but it, so we just keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger as, uh, you know, as time goes. Kind of like my ears. But we don't need to talk about that. We don't need to talk about my ears uh, we can uh, talk uh, very quickly about these beautiful Chanel's over here very quickly. Right? It is very hard to let go of pretties, especially if you like, you know, like for me, it's like a journey because, you know, these are all beautiful, unique bags to me. And I already have all this time invested in them anyway, most of the time, uh, whether it's picking them out. Uh, or rehabbing them, or authenticating them, etc. Like every single one of these, have had uh, so much of my own time and personal uh, time, and you get attached to them. And so I'm very, very happy with my collection at this point. Um, I, I honestly don't even know what I would buy if I was going to buy something. That's the kind of thing that I'm kind of coming into at this point. It's like when I look at the bag, I'm like, oh, you know, this didn't really do anything for me uh, because I already have such a really great collection. And so as people buy. Uh, then I will be replenishing and I am supposed slowly, you know, uh, buying uh, more and more and more and more and more and more bags. But I'm getting pickier and pickier and pickier with the bags that I do choose to bring uh, to the studio because, you know, it, we do have to have a certain amount of quality and it's not about quantity, it's about quality. And so if you can find one of the, you know, 600 bags, there's uh, technically about 400 bags on the floor right now. And there's about 340 listings in elliotsluxury.com. That's how you're going to buy anything in here, folks. So if you see something in here and you didn't get to see it today or you want to see it but you didn't get to see it, how you're going to let me know is send me a message on elliotsluxury.com. There's a live chat feature if you're just joining. And uh, I'll tell you about these bags really quickly up here on the table. Now, on the table is going to be a black patent. And then this is going to be a caviar, which is going to be a, a calf skin with a, a, a created texture on it. Uh, so a created texture on it with gold hardware. It's called a medallion bag because this is a large medallion that you can see. And uh, this one's going to be gold hardware. And then this one's going to be a brushed like nickel color. In the tangerine, the tangerine dream, that's what I call it. It's like a Lamborghini color. So if you're familiar with Volkswagen or you're familiar with that beautiful orange metallic glitter color that you've seen on a Lambo, that's the color right there. She's gorgeous. Uh, it's a patent leather. And then we have a lambskin. This one's going to be more delicate. It's going to be less rigid. It's going to be more of a soft leather. So if you're familiar with the same leather that these bags are made out of, this is the same leather. It is more delicate. It's softer. It is not as rigid. And the main difference between these are, and then you've got the differences of a more rigid bag. This one, this one, and this one are going to have rigid handles. So the handles will stick up on their own. Why is this important? Well, it's a completely different mojo. Have you ever carried a bag with stiff handles? It is a completely different vibe than one that has flexible handles. It's true. It's all about the experience. So you really have to think about whether or not you want handles that are rigid. Because if those handles get rigid because you neglected them, or you set something on this, or you set this up against something, you can ruin these handles. And these handles are original to this bag. And they're perfectly shaped because it sits right here. This bag, if I were you, I would buy these. You could find these on Amazon in a set of three. 
It generally costs about $29.95. So free shipping. And you can get it there in about two days. So if this, if you buy a bag like this, and if you see me storing it on a purse arm, there's probably a reason for that. And it's because I'm trying to shape those handles and I want to make sure that they're in really great shape for you when you get them. That's why I do that. Uh, because if not, you can lose the shape. They can lose the value. And we don't want that. I don't know about you, but I definitely don't want that. Each one of these are my little babies. And uh, doing so, it would just be neglecting the bag. And so, anyway, that being said, that's my, my medallions. The prices on the medallions run about three thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars or best offer uh all the way down to about twenty four hundred so you pick your poison if you ask about the bag whichever one that i'll tell you the price you can definitely make an offer now this one is listed and so as this one this is the black caviar which is the calf skin with the textured leather and then we have the lamb skinny the lamb skinny over here both of those are gold hardware so those are the ones that are listed Neither of the patents are listed. If you're interested in either one of them, send me a message at elliotsluxury.com with the chat feature, feature down at the right portion of the screen. So those are just the medallion girls, okay? They have a whole table just for them. They're very special. Um, and then uh, Dior, you're missing what? Dior. The Dior, the Dior's. Oh, ooh, I, I still forgot that I'm wearing this. See how bl how blend how it blends so easy with the bo with the body. I have a lot of Chanel's back here. If you're a regular, you've seen a lot of these bags. If you're interested in any of these, you can make me an offer. If I like the offer, then I'll get back with you. This is going to be the item of the beautiful cosmetic trunk that was sitting back behind my display uh, back when we were still doing auctions. This one is gorgeous. If you're interested, it's very rigid. I repaired this live uh, on uh, Poshmark, I actually did. Uh, and so this one is in really good shape. It's ready to be enjoyed. If you're interested, she's large and in charge and she's fabulous. Uh, she's Miss United States uh, or Miss Congeni Cong uh, Congeniality, if you will. That one has a mirror in the interior too. If you've never seen that bag, I don't think it's listed. You can beg if you'd like. I will. I will definitely list it. I please beg though. Please beg. Uh, we need to know that she's going to a good home. Uh, this is another beautiful item right here. This is going to be a Kelly top handle. A Kelly top handle on the caviar. Uh, it is stunning. There's no call outs. It's beautiful. If you're interested, it's available for you. Silver hardware. Silver hardware. Uh, here's your handle and such. Now, again, if you're just now joining, all of this is recorded. It'll be live on my app probably in about 45 minutes after we end the show. Uh, and we've been going, oh, for how long? Oh, about 53 minutes, which is perfect timing. I love a, a good hour-long show because it doesn't wear me out. And by the time you're done, you can really kind of think about the bags that were shown. And I can go home and you can shop if you want to. So um, I think this will be your five-minute warning of us ending our show. Um, and so if you're looking for anything just ridiculous, uh, let me know if you're a regular customer and you've been seeking something, uh, and you have been thinking about it and you've been looking for it, uh, let me know. And if you're a customer out there watching me, or you watch this later in the day, uh, then let me know how I can help you. Uh, if you want to come and shop at the luxury live studios, you can send me an appointment, send me a time that you would like to join me, uh, in my beautiful studio live. Or you can send me a, you know, a time you like to come by and schedule an appointment. Uh, I do like a, a, at least a 48 hour uh, to a seven day warning. Uh, so for some of y'all, y'all be like, oh, well, I'm going to be off like in December. Um, I'd like to book an appointment on, on December 2nd. And I'm going to say no. Thank you, though, because uh, I don't know what my December 2nd looks like. But I can predict my schedule in a seven day period. So if you can get flight tickets and start whispering uh, your availability, then I'll make myself available. Uh, but I can't predict my future uh, six months in advance. I love you. There has been some of y'all been asking, uh, but I, I can't put my, I cannot predict my schedule uh, that far in advance. Okay. Uh, so I like a, a good two week uh, window at the most and I need about 48 hours uh, at the minimum. Okay. So anyhow, how do you do that? You go to elliotsluxury.com and you send me a message. 
Okay, so that it would be like kind of the cha chas, the cha chas. Let me pull you over this direction, as, and I'm gonna show uh, the Stellas really quickly to you, um, and a few other things over here. I'm gonna kind of like move, like really, really quickly at this point. Okay, so over here you're going to see my beautiful Stellas. I did move the Stellas over uh, so that you could take a peek at them in the the bright lights. Um, there's a navy blue, there's the heather gray, there's a white mini one that's adorable if you're interested, if you've been thinking of one of these. Uh, again, you can make me an offer if you have any interest. Um, if you think you'd wear it, this is going to be a little white, uh, very like arctic white color. She's very wintry. This would be cute to wear in the winter. Uh, and then I have two of these, one of this size and that really pretty gray. I don't think this is listed. If it is, uh, you could go look under Stella. Okay. Uh, if not, then just let me know and I'll list it for you. I've sold two or three of those uh, in the last six months or so. And then I got this gorgeous Bordeaux color. Look at this one. This one kind of has that iridescent sheen. And it's a perfect size. This is the size. Uh, and when you're wearing it, you just kind of throw that over. Uh, I have a customer that bought one of these. And she said that there was a lady that asked her how she made that. Or, uh, she did make it. Uh, Stella designed it, and then I'm sure it was made uh, uh, by other people in a, in a completely different country. Uh, so, FYI, uh, she did she did not make it. Uh, it's actually a Stella. It's a brand. It's a designer. Uh, and so I'm sure she, uh, I'm sure my customer just kind of giggled and walked off. Uh, I, or at least I hope that's what she did. She goes, girl, get up out of here. This purse is a $1,200 purse. I didn't make this. I don't know. I, I don't know how I would react. I think I would probably just smile and, and run far away very quickly. Uh. <laughs> uh. So here's this one. This one has a really pretty dark uh, Bordeaux color with a hot pink on each side. And then it's like a, a blush color. It's a blush and bashful with a side of Barbie. A blush and bashful with a side of Barbie. Uh, that's just the inspiration that she gives me. I love the colorway. I love the color of every single one of these right now. That's why I'm just so excited about my Stellas. I moved them over because I got those other ones with colors. Uh, this is going to be the navy blue one. Of course, it looks fabulous with my outfit. It's mostly navy blue. Uh, this one is an iridescent. Look at that sheen. Look at her shine. Ooh, very nice. This one is gorgeous. It's more of the larger size. I know for those girls that like a, a large bag, a large and in charge, like running purse first into the living room. Uh, this is not a handle. This is just for decoration. I did have some people ask. That's your answer. I'm so sorry. It doesn't have a longer handle. You could probably, you know, make things happen if you really, really wanted to. I promise you could, you could make creative things happen. Uh, here is my baguette collectionist. This is where the baguettes live. They're all fresh from the oven. Every one of them fresh from the oven. No carbs here though. No carbs here. Fear not. They are not carb. I promise they're, they are not carbs. They are not carbs. They will not harm your bloodstream. They will only harm your bank account. Uh, and so some of the most expensive ones I have are this one and this one. If you're really trying to hurt the bank account, uh, perhaps, you know, maybe you uh, have, uh, I don't know, maybe your ex-husband's credit card, or maybe it's time to treat thine self. Uh, these are beautiful. These are my little girls. Uh, they're fabulous. They're beautiful. They're Miss, you know, congeniality. Okay, we'll put them back. You don't need these. Uh, let's see. What? Is, somebody asked me, what's the most affordable one up here? And the most affordable one's probably going to be a suede. How much are you? This is twelve nine five. Twelve nine five. She has a glitter FF. Twelve nine five will make all the happiness come true, all of it. And you could be a vintage girl and sit with us. You can sit with us if you buy this one right here. If not, you'll have to sit over there. Sit over there, over there with the coach girls. You cannot sit with us. You are not a Fendi girl. How offended. I am offended. Try to sit with us. Do not sit with us. We are offended. Uh, the coach section is over there. Yes. And we have it separated by era. The leather wear is over here, ma'am. The leather wear. Oh, ma'am, you're wearing a Betty Caution. Ooh, Bonnie Caution section's over here, yes. A Bonnie Caution. You'll be next, right next to Hermes. Uh, a Bonnie Caution. That's one of my favorite eras of coach. So if you don't know the history of Bonnie Caution and how she changed coach, then, then you cannot sit with us.
Uh, so that one is affordable. Let's see. What else? What else? What else? Mm, that one's $1,800. Ooh, that one's expensive. Oh, that one's obscenely expensive. What about this one? Oh, no, that's expensive, too. Oh, no, I can't let it go that one either. That was expensive. Oh, this one. This one is age 95. Age 95. She has a little bit of pink on the outside. Uh, and she's like an oatmeal color. An oatmeal. Uh, do you like oatmeal? Uh, if you do, this one is yours. This one is age 95. Age 95 for the, with, for the baguette. She's a ba she's a baguette. Don't, don't, don't get, don't make her angry. Don't make her angry. She has a pink, really cute pastel FF. But I hear she carries a nine millimeter. I hear she carries a nine millimeter in her baguette. Uh, again, no carbs included. Sorry, you'll have to find those at Subway. Okay, next on the list uh, are some more Fendi Indie Indies. Uh, Fendi Indie Indies. Come along this way. Come along this way. So we have a Fendi Indie Indies over here. Now, this is the Bottega section. So Bottega from here to here. Uh, thank you for traveling uh, over here and over here and over here. I feel like I'm, I'm the airplane. Uh, uh, what is it called? A, um, a air traffic controller? I need my little sticks. And I could start leading uh, this way and this way. Okay, um, anyhow, so that being said, Fendi in the Indies over here in this corner, uh, and you shall not need to call the corner, because uh, they've all been redone, and take a look at my book, and take a look at my book, and take her, in, take her in, take all of it in, it's beautiful, if you're interested in this, she's very expensive, uh, but you can apply, uh, just apply within, message me, uh, call me, um, if you'd like, just Call, called me, because uh, in order for somebody to buy this, you're probably going to have to be very close. Very close. Um, and so, but she's she's available. It's a, a 30. It's a Birkin 30. Not a 35. There's a big difference in prices when you have a, a 35 versus a 30. Big difference. Uh, and so, anyway, the 30s from the 35s is a big, big, big difference of net worth. Uh, and exclusivities as I drink my McDonald's drink. So it's all about priorities around here. Hermes or, well, I don't know what I would order that's classy out of a window. I'm trying to think about something that's classy out of a window. What, like a McAllister's? Yeah, I th I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay, so anyway, that being said, it's all about priorities. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's, oh, let's, oh, we can't talk about all the Fendi's because who has time for that? Uh, but this one, this one is one of my new girls and she is a, a trendy, she likes, you know, calm wind through her hair. Uh, she, you know, she, she, she's, she's independent. Uh, she's a survivor. Um, you know, she doesn't really have to answer to anyone. This one is gorgeous. She doesn't, maybe doesn't have children yet. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know much about her yet. Um, but what I do know is, did you see that Dior? Hold up. Did you see that orange Dior? Oh, oh my Lord. I didn't even tell you about my other Dior's. These are my other Dior's. Uh, how about the orange one? How about, how about, how about the or orange one? How about this one? Ooh. Look at all those details. It's all in the details. This is the brush gold hardwares. Brush gold hardwares. Yes. How about the Fendi? No? Fendi? No? Is this like purse porn for y'all? This is purse porn, isn't it? The endorphins are, are going. I, I know somebody's out there just like, I, I can't, I can't take it. I, I can't do this all at once. This is too much. My anxiety is too much. Oh my lord. It's okay. You can pause. You, you can watch a replay, like I promise. You can pause it and then come back to it, go get you like a donut or something, go get a glass of wine. And then you can come back and watch again. It's okay, don't it don't fret. You don't have to you don't have to watch it all at once. This is just for recording sake. Because uh, we'd hate for people to get bored, you know? Okay, this one is a, a, ooh. It's red piping. I still haven't really decided whether or not this one is my favorite. Or not yet. Because I have so many to choose from. There's this one. 
And then there's the one that I'm carrying that's this one, but the Bordeaux. And this one has a pink strap that comes with it. It's navy and pink. I know. It's too much for daytime TV. Oh, this one matches my outfit too. Everything matches my outfit. Uh, this is gorgeous. If you're interested, I just recently sold one of these mm, less than a month ago for $5,000. $4,995. And I paid for the shipping. Next day air. And she loved it. Um, so... If you're interested in one of these, then let me know. Now, this is the most expensive oblique bag that you can buy. There are some that are out there that don't have the big D. Okay? And if you're fine not having the big D right here, this one right here, then you can get these cheaper. But normally they're disgusting. And they're made out of a canvas that the glue turns yellow. It's horrifying. But they're out there. So don't get duped into buying one that's not this one because this is the only one that holds her value as long as she's been taken care of. She's got that big D down there. Stop looking at it. Saw you looking at my big D. Anyhow, that being said, as we turn, 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 uh, this one here also is gorgeous. This is going to be a light denim and she does have a silver D. As you can see, it's silver, silver D. This one also is pretty big and gorgeous. As you can see, this is the same beautiful oblique style saddlebag. And she's gorgeous. If you're interested, it does have silver hardware. This particular strap goes with this bag. But look at this lady bag with a thick strap on it. That's what she said. She really likes a thick strap. Uh, look how it sits, though. Like, look how it sits on you with this big strap on here. Completely different. Completely different, Mojo, than what you would have gotten with this little dainty strap. So the dainty strap, I feel like, looks better on the on the saddlebag oblique bag than it does on this particular bag. So think about that if you are a Dior girl or if you've been thinking about buying a Dior uh, then this bag, these straps right here go for about $1,600. I know it's insane, but that's the cost. That's how much they cost. It's look, nobody said luxury was cheap. Okay. Look, these are, we're in the candy store right now. It's the candy store. Uh, this one is gorgeous. If you're interested, if you have any interest in this particular one, my husband bought this for me, uh, which is hilarious because I was like, would you buy that for me? And I, I was, I was very serious, uh, but I didn't think he was actually going to buy it for me. And then he did actually buy it for me. And so it's very nice. Um, this particular one is gorgeous. Uh, this one is a, a boho, uh, like a, well, it's, it's definitely like a boho bag, like hobo. I guess I should say hobo with the canage. It's a leather, it's navy blue, and it has silver hardwares. This one is gorgeous. If you're interested in this, it's a pretty large bag. This is 11 by 16 by 4. 11 by 16 by 4. The drop on this is 9 inches. That's what she said. Uh, this one is priced at $24.95. I'm happy to consider any offers. Uh, if you want to make me an offer on anything that you've seen here today, how do you do that? Well, you go to elliotsluxury.com and you can click on the listing. This is listed. Just look up Dior. There's tons of Dior in my closet. Not all of it uh, is listed. I'm sorry. Uh, on the website. So you can go in there and look, but not everyone. Hi, Miss Pamela. How you doing? Uh, so anyway, this is the Dior Collectionist. I added the big mama up here. And as she's not big, it's just because she is the most exotic bag in this entire collection. And I know I have a modest collection, but that bag is the most expensive rare bag in this collection. She's a crocodile. She has the, has, uh, is of the crocodilian descent, this one right here. And she has gold hardware. There is not very many of these that are out there, I assure you. If you'd like to go and take a look, this one has been authenticated by three different companies. Three different companies, okay? Uh, it is also individually insured. It is one of the only bags in my collection that is individually insured because of what it is individually insured so this particular bag is worth basically um uh, what that whole shelf up there uh, is worth of dior's 
So if you really like a, a rare bag, if you like a bag that is uh, not going to be seen by most people wearing it, uh, that one is a really good opportunity for you. If you can afford it, she's expensive. Pretty damn expensive, if I don't say so myself. Uh, so if you have any interest in her, I will show you just because I want to see her what she looks like on the camera. Hold on. I haven't got to see that one yet on the camera in a while. This one right here. Here's the sides. Now this one has no cosmetic wear except for minor scratching on the hardware. And I need to polish your hardware. I don't think I ever did that when I got it. There's no call outs on this bag. So if you've been seeking a Dior Croc medium size bag, that is this one. Welcome. She's gorgeous. I have this size in calf hair with cheetah, suede, satin, lambskin, green champagne pattern, denim, green ombre pattern. Some of these are listed and some of them are not. So just FYI, okay? <laughs> I just want you to know that. Not all of them are listed. I don't want to, I don't want to sell all of them at one time. Uh. <laughs> Uh, but if you are interested in one of these, then let me know. Um, some of them are listed, some of them are not. Uh, this one is listed. I'm pretty sure it may not be listed. I don't remember. I think somebody wanted to buy this one, and then they changed their mind. I was like, I'm taking it down then. Uh, because some of these babies in here, it's just like, I don't know if I want to sell them. Uh, because they're rare. And they are sometimes really hard to find, y'all. Uh, especially in the condition that they're in. This one specifically was mentioned in a YouTube uh, YouTuber that, that comments on all kinds of stuff. And she was talking about metallic bags and Dior. And this bag, allegedly, according to her, was $5,000 when it was new. Uh, five grand for this little bitty bag with Dior. And if it was a Chanel, nobody would even balk, right? Uh, but five grand just seems like so much, right? Uh, but this is insane. This particular one, I think, is like uh, 13 and a quarter. This is $1,300. 13 and a quarter if you're interested. So silver hardware on that one. And she's beautiful. This one is tiny. It's not as large or not as large as the Speedy 25. So if you like like a Speedy 20, uh, that is going to be the size of that one. Let me put this one up. My insurance agent is hopefully not watch, work, watching. I, put that bag down! Um, I didn't really talk about the Bottega today. Uh, we'll talk about Bottega maybe in another show. Uh, but, uh, anyway, I think we're going to end it here and, uh, we'll talk to you later. Uh, if you need anything, send me a message on elliotsluxury.com. There's a chat feature. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you soon. And this will be live on my app in about 45 minutes. And you can watch this at your will and pause it. If you got to go to the bathroom, if you need to get up, go get some peanuts, some honey roasted peanuts. Uh, or any, anyway, I'll talk to you soon. I hope have a great day. Good night. Goodbye. Get the hell up out of here. I'll talk to you soon. Damn.